Okay, so this video goes out to someone that says, hey, if you got some knowledge, why don't you just share it with us? So I'm just going to go ahead and share this. And then you're going to realize that you're going to need more knowledge. Because the thing is, is that if you haven't studied this, you're going to need somebody to teach you exactly every single detail because everything is different. So, for instance, say this house is on the realtor market. The realtor market, some realtor company come out and say, hey, there's 15 properties on the market. And those properties are not theirs. You'll look up and you'll say, those 15 properties, well, who owns them? And then you'll see the bank holds the note. But the bank will never say that they're the owner because the bank is not the owner either. See what I'm saying? So those properties are abandoned. By law, they're considered abandoned. And what you've got to do is you've got to realize that. So here's the hustle. Basically, uh, here's the, the flip that flip these houses hustle. It's a hustle, okay? It's nothing uh, that anybody can't do. Anybody can do it. So if these realtors can do it, they're just frosters. They can do it, you can do it. So, for instance, say this house is on the market and it's sitting there. And uh, the bank holds a note, so you go and discharge a note with the bank. And then you do a, a release because the county clerk is your private court. So anything that you put in the county clerk and then file anywhere becomes law. So that's why a lot of cases get dismissed whenever they try to challenge some kind of jurisdiction and you just hit it. All right, so the county clerk is your private court. Just know that. All right, so you're going to do... A release because you're going to send it to them registered mail you're going to do a discharge right so learn about that you can look it up anywhere acceptance for value and that's it get it notarized it becomes negotiable and then what happens is uh you you get yourself in, in next in line and then when that happens whether it's yourself or it's another business which is probably what you want to do is uh put it in another business name okay and quit claim it to the business and then you're going to uh, turn around and sell it or whatever or flip it on the market and then you've got a big lion's share right there so then you take that lion's share and then you go get another house that's like way bigger like say 10 million dollar house right and then you turn around and uh, you flip that because nobody owned it and everybody was trying to rob you anyway so they got their five million as soon as you signed a note. So you discharge a note. You come back within 30 days, you can cancel the contract and you discharge a note. And then you turn around and then uh, you put it in a different business. See what I'm saying? So this is uh, the educational side of it, but this is not legal advice because I'm not a lawyer, which is just a liar, pretty much. The bar is a demon named Bar, <laughs> if you didn't know that. But yeah, that's what it is. When people cross the bar, they find out. And, uh, and then it's like, oh, so you're either going to be here or not. So it's pretty much uh, what it is. Uh, a witch told me that in California. Said that the bar is a demon named Bar. Yep. All right, so anyways, let's keep going. All right, so this fraud here of abandoned properties people just sell themselves into slavery in their private courts they are saying hey i'm being robbed and i am okay with this i'm signing right here and you don't even know this but that's a void uh, security note it's a void contract the mortgage is a void piece of crap so with that being said there's going to be a lot more questions and this is the reason why i say hey you're going to need some education send me a uh, send me a donation because people <sighs> life is not that easy it's not so easy that I can even tell you this and you're not going to have a thousand questions. So that's where the 150 comes in. And I used to uh, be able to let this information go for like more than that, like 1500, 500. You know what I mean? And uh, attorneys, they sell it for like thousands, like 10,000, 5000 for an injunction. So you got to understand is that uh, 150 is nothing. And all of these people saying, hey, just give it to me for free. You're not going to get all the knowledge for free because what are you going to do before and after that? What are you going to do? You do an acceptance for value. What comes before and after that? See what I mean? So people got to learn, you know, to not just go and give away their credit and let, and get robbed and then get another bill back and then not know what to do. So there you have it. So with that being said, there's some more knowledge for you. Um, my main job is to, to lead people to the light so they can go and sun gaze. That's my main thing. I'll talk about that all day. I have more stuff coming here soon. So stay tuned to Grim Nasty TV. And as always, onward through the fog. Because when we get awake. <laughs>